This is a painting by the American master Aaron Balrod, uh, who lived from 1907 to 1992. He is uh, called Chicago's gift to art uh, because he uh, painted a lot of the scenes of uh, Chicago during the Depression era. So he was considered first an American regionalist painter. This oil on uh, panel uh, done in 1975, was don donated by Selman Nettles, uh, courtesy of the Harmon Meat Gallery, uh, and it is called Year of the Tiger. It's uh, oil on panel 20 by 16 inches. Now, this doesn't look anything like Chicago, obviously, so he obviously changed his style. Uh, during the 19, uh, during World War II, he actually uh, painted uh, both in the Pacific and, and Atlantic theaters of action uh, and uh, was actually uh, uh, a feature story of his uh, uh, time as a war correspondent artist was uh, in Life magazine in 1945. Uh, uh, upon returning to the United States, he uh, took over as artisan residence at the University of Wisconsin uh, uh, taking over from the recently de deceased John Stuart Curry. And uh, uh, by 1952, he realized that the art world was changing and that the interest in American regionalism had passed. So he came up with this uh, full the eye technique called trompe And it is where he actually went to uh, flea markets and would, uh, he, and his studio was full of uh, probably a couple thousand objects. Uh, he, he he preferred if they were not in mint condition. Uh, that way he could buy them for virtually nothing. So the, the tiger, and then he would cut things out of magazines and he would actually compose the painting. So if you went to a studio, you could actually see all these objects, including the wood background. He would just get wood out of, uh, out of the backyard or out of a lumber yard as a backdrop, and he loved creating all these wonderful textures. It's amazing uh, that it actually fools the eye into trying to determine whether you can uh, actually pick that up off the off the canvas. And on the little uh, button there is his cell portrait. He always uh, he always uh, put him his own cell portrait in a reflection in these Trompe paintings. So he's in uh, dozens of art museum collections from the Metropolitan on down, and people who collect his work collect both the early work and the late work. Uh, so we're quite pleased to have this uh, uh, animal uh, painting in our collection uh, honoring the tiger.